Hello, this is Robert Smith. I'm here in um, Kent, in the town of Dover, the Dover Castle, and behind me is the English Channel. And um, I'd like to help, um, people ask me, well, how do you tap, Robert? How do you do the faster EFT style? Well, the faster EFT style is very simple. What you do is you just notice inside you that something bothers you. I mean, you can feel it. You may have a memory of it. You may have a picture in your mind, or you can remember what happened. Um, and then what you do is you tap. Now, the, the deal with the tapping is aiming. Now, the tapping is the easiest part. So paying attention to what it is inside you that bothers you. That's the toughest part. Looking at your memories, looking, noticing your body. Now, like if you have a feeling inside your body, like a, uh, I'm angry and you feel a tightness in your chest or you feel it in your stomach, you just notice it. And then what you do is you tap. Now, the tapping points are very, very simple. Between the eyes, beside your eye, under the eye, the collarbone, which is about where your necklace would hang. I usually do it like this. And then grab your wrist. You grab it both sides and then you take a deep breath and peace. Now what you can do with this piece is also find a peaceful memory as well. Something that makes you feel good. And then take a deep breath and you close your eyes and you go back there and notice, pretend like you're there, feel the feelings of peace and then grab your wrist. Peace. That way you're creating an emotional association to it. Now you can use any other word. Now I usually use peace because it's it, it creates peace, but you can use any word. I mean, if you have a memory that has has a harmony or or it may have showtime or anything that makes you feel good, now you could use that one as well. And so what you do is you aim at what bothers you. A feeling in your body again, uh, a memory of what happened. You can think about the person. You may look at what they did. You may notice how you respond to it. You may hear what they said and just aim at that. So noticing it. Notice what it is. And then all you do is tap. And what you do when you're tapping is say, I release and let it go. 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 It's safe to let it go. Take a deep breath. Lord out and peace. And then you go back and you check and make sure it's gone. If it isn't gone, then you do it again. So you notice what's left. If you notice anything left, now oftentimes it'll start shifting and changing. Just keep tapping until the, the sensation has completely changed or dissolved down to nothing. If it, and oftentimes you do it enough, it's gonna change to a positive. Now if it isn't positive, you keep tapping on it until you make it positive. A good example would be like, for example, your boss said something that hurt your feelings or your mother said something. And so you keep tapping what she said, the words and the feelings and the emotions. And then you get to the point where you can't hear her say it, you don't feel, it, feel the same. And then you can change the memory. Change it to where she said something positive. That way you feel good about it. And you may send her love and peace and make her feel better about it. So first of all, you feel it, you tap it until it's gone. And then you double check, make sure it's all gone. So, so then you, you keep tapping. Now some, for some people, what's gonna happen is you're gonna have to stay on this memory or this experience over and over again until it's gone. It may take you 10 minutes, it may take you 15 minutes, it may take you an hour, or it may take you two weeks. The deal is, look at what, you're, what, what it is that bothers you. Look at the person, notice the memory, notice the experience, and keep tapping. Now for some people, you'll have a flood of memories coming in. Well, when you have a flood of memories coming in, just, uh, you know, just keep tapping. You can close your eyes and keep tapping until it's gone. Take a deep breath, blow it out and say peace, and then go back to the peaceful feeling. <clears throat> now, while you're tapping, what I want you to notice is when you're tapping, I want you to notice your fingertips touching your face. Feel your fingertips, let it go, let it go. Feel your fingertips, let it go, let it go. Just feel your fingertips, that's right. Hand, grab your wrist, blow it out. Peace, go to your peaceful memory, feel good. Then what you can do 
is as you practice this, then you can practice it and practice and tap in other ways. So then what you do is you think about something that bothers you, you notice that it bothers you, and I always say close your eyes and just notice it and then feel your fingers tap in between your eyes, feel the fingers. Now memorize what this feels like and then in your mind stop tapping but pretend like you're still tapping and feel your fingers, let it go. Then you do the same here, feel your fingers, stop tapping, feel your fingers tapping as if it were you can tap again and that means you're memorizing the feeling of tapping, let it go all the way and just continue tapping, continue tapping, deep breath blow it out and peace and then what you can do is you go back and you notice what's left notice any emotions and feelings and then you mentally tap so in your not mind pretend like you feel your fingers tapping that's right let it go let it go keep tapping let it go let it go grab your wrist in your mind and peace then you could do it with your eyes open in your mind let it go let it go let it go Peace. Now it's really nice that you can do this mentally because you could be in a meeting and here it is this person could be irritating you or triggering you and so you could be just smiling and looking at them peace and they just think you're listening but actually you're healing yourself so mentally tap physically tap and if you don't like it to do either one, you can covertly tap. Now, I created this tapping technique after a friend of mine. His name was Tom. Tom Tarr. Now, who is Tom Tarr? Well, Tom is a friend of mine. He's married to Sue Tarr. So, what he would do is he'd do something like this. Grabbing the wrist. Covertly. It's called the slide Tom Tarr technique. So, you just kind of like this. Something as simple as this. Peace. So again, you can tap many ways and the most important part about the tapping is not the tapping. It's aiming at inside you, noticing what it is inside you that bothers you. And the most powerful part about your healing is your ability to be persistent. So I always say, tap until it's gone or until you pass out, whichever comes first. And make sure you don't pass out while you're driving tap and be smart with your tapping because the most important thing about you is learning to like you and be nice to you. My often, often the favorite places to tap, usually my favorite place is while I drive because you know you can drive and tap. Um, people drink your coffee and tap, you know they do a lot of things and tap. If you're in a business meeting or someone's irritating you, you can mentally tap, you can covertly tap, you could uh, say oh one second, I gotta go to the loo, I gotta go to the bog, I gotta go to the dunny, I gotta go to the water closet, I gotta go to the toilet. I'll be right back. And while you're in there, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. And you keep tapping until you get full emotional control. So tap until it's gone or until you pass out. And I guarantee you, either way, you'll come out a winner you'll come out on top. So how do you tap? It's very simple. Aiming is the most important part. Tapping is the deal. It's just be persistent, keep working on it, keep tapping on until it's gone. And when you do this, everything will be better. This is Robert Smith. I hope this makes it easy for you because the easier it is, the more likely you'll use it. And I guarantee you it works. These points that I use have been using for eight or 10 years. It's one of the fastest and easiest and the cleanest and the less craziest looking way. So keep tapping on yourself, take complete ownership, Love yourself by being nice yourself. Clean up everything inside. Tap in the heat of the moment and your whole life will begin to change. And we'll talk to you later. This is Robert here in Dover. And behind me the English Channel and I'm sitting under a nice beautiful tree on the bridge talking to you. Talk to you later. Bye.